This interview was made possible by our friends at Logo.com. Visit Logo.com for professional logo design. Hey everyone, I'm Mike Sullivan. This is MO.com, where we feature small business owners and entrepreneurs and bring you hints, tips, insights, and perspectives on what it takes to be successful. Joining me today is Larry Drevis of Jan Rain. Jan Rain is a company that provides its service to over 300,000 websites, and you may have used the service yourself. If you've gone to a website and have logged in using your Facebook, LinkedIn, or Google account, you may have been using a Jan Rain service. Larry, thanks for joining me today. Can you just start telling us a little bit about Jan Rain? Give us some, some background. Sure. We're a startup in Portland, Oregon. We um, have a, a suite of SaaS products that uh, provide user management functionality to websites, everything from authentication, so onboarding an account the user might already have, like a Facebook or Google or Yahoo, uh, to actually storing the profiles and, and acting as a user database for the, uh, the website. So. Um, we do have a, a great distribution um, network, or, or um, we do have free offerings. We do um, have uh, more enterprise offerings that uh, have more features and uh, more uh, support. Larry, can you tell me a little bit more about the the, the login, the social login profile uh, product? Yeah, so uh, our engaged product is really where authentication happens, uh, and social login or third party login, it's called a lot. Um, we actually make onboarding of that functionality very, very simple. So uh, instead of learning all those APIs and staying up with all the technology and uh, trying to figure out the security and, and how, how the profile data happens, um, our product allows you to just very quick integration. But we do act as a pipe. The data flows through us. We don't store a copy. Uh, we make it very simple for the customer to, um, to consume that data. So we um, pull it all apart, put it back together, uh, whether you come in from a Twitter account or a Facebook account or a Yahoo account, it all looks the same to the website. So I imagine as a, a user, part of the draw would be I don't have to fill out a new user registration form for every site I go to. Have you seen improvements or is there any um, metrics in, in conversion rates of people logging in using existing accounts versus setting up a new profile? Yeah, no, that's a big part of our sell story is, um, you know, uh, our market is really any website that wants to um, have more user engagement and know more about those users. Um, and so logging in through an account uh, rather than creating a new account um, greatly increases your conversion rate. Um, it definitely varies uh, website to website. A lot of that is UI treatment. A lot of it is, um, you know, what you get when you log in and, and how it's presented. Um, but we do... Uh, pride ourselves on being able to show lift in conversion and uh, and definitely repeat visits. So we've all been to websites where we know we have an account but we can't remember the password and uh, it's uh, a point there where drop off can happen and we want to make it simple. You just hit the Google button, you just hit the Yahoo button and, and boom you're back in. Larry, you pioneered the development of Rocket Mail which later became Yahoo Mail. Can you tell me about that acquisition? Um, sure, you know that was a, a while ago, um, and uh, we had a great team. The, the company name was Four and One. We had a, a suite of products. Uh, it turned out the Rocket Mail product was where the value ended up being. Um, we had, uh, you know, a, a um, we were in the Bay Area. We we knew Jerry and Dave. We were doing a little bit of um, we were running the people search for Yahoo. So we already had an established connection there. Um, when it uh, you know came time to to look at uh, you know doubt that it makes sense to um, to go with Yahoo is a very simple conversation. Um, uh, I guess it, simple is the wrong word, but it, it wasn't uh, you know they were just down the street. There was the culturally they were very similar to us. Um, we were much smaller, um, and uh, and they were ahead of us in scale. So um, you know it, it, it turned out to be just a. Um, a great combination, I think. I think it was good for the product. I think it was great for the employees, and it was great for the investors. Um, it's really uh, and Yahoo Mail is a, a big piece of Yahoo right now. What's your advice to small businesses out there that are trying to keep up with the rapidly changing technology and internet landscape? Yeah, I, I think uh, and small business or enterprise, I, I think um, you know. Stitching together a website now is is easier using vendors who specialize in, in you know niche core technologies. Um, so uh, as every um, 
uh, websites concentrate more on their unique content or functionality and the pieces that uh, can be better served by someone uh, you know faster and cheaper than you could do yourself uh, there's lots of services out there so and that's a market we play into it's a market we use you know we outsource our email or DNS or, or, or you know CDN network um, and certainly we have the engineering capability to do it ourselves but um, there are vendors out there who do it much better for much cheaper um, so I think that is a trend. I don't think uh, that takes any advice from me, um, and I think it's a trend that's going to last years and years. Thanks, Larry. Nice talking to you. Thanks a lot, Mike.